All right, who's ready for this week's segment of Jugmeet Singh says something stupid? So he posted something on X today, and it says, Pierre Polyev must put our country before his party. Pierre Polyev's refusal to seek security clearance continues to put Canadians and Canadian democracy at risk. Pierre, get your security clearance. Now, of course, he's talking about the NSICOP report where there's apparently 11 uh, treasonous MPs in the House of Commons right now. And everyone wants Pierre Polyev to get a security clearance so that he can essentially look at these documents and find out who they are. Now, before I get into that, I just find it funny where Pierre Polyev, or sorry, Jugmeet Singh says Pierre Polyev must put country before his party. Uh, hey, Jugmeet Singh, why don't you put your country before your pension? But you don't want to do that, right? It's everyone else's fault. Oh, it's, it's oh, you need Pierre, Pierre Polyev's corrupt and he's not really for Canadians or our democracy. Well, by your own definition, Jugmeet, neither are you. So first of all, what in the hell are you even talking about? Second of all, the whole question of should Pierre Polyev get the security clearance? Now, Tom, uh, Tom Mulclair, who is a for, the former head of the NDP, actually agrees with Pierre Polyev, saying he should not get the security clearance. Let's have a listen as to why he says that. I agree completely with the call by Pierre Poilievre. I, I think that Poilievre was wise not to tie his own hands. He is the leader of the official opposition. I have once you know, occupied that role for several years as leader of the opposition. I would never want to be hamstrung because I looked at a government document I would never want to be told that I can't ask all the questions I want of the government. And I think that on this, Poilievre is completely right. The others don't have a, as important a role. Neither the leader of the NDP, my former party, and I respect its current leader a great deal, Jagmeet Singh, nor the Bloc Québécois, the François Blanchet, also doing the job. I don't think that either of them is in the same position as the leader of the official opposition. I Right. So even the former NDP leader, Tom Mulclair, agrees that Pierre Polyev should not get the clearance. Why? Because he cannot act on it. He cannot remove any cabinet members. He can't fire anyone. He can't press charges because that means that he's acting on classified information. He cannot do that. He would literally incriminate himself if he did. And maybe that's why Jagmeet Singh and Justin Trudeau want him to get clearance so badly. Maybe that's the only reason. Now, here we have a video of Justin Trudeau, basically where he says he admits that Pierre Polyev would be unable to speak about what's in the Ensikop report, even if he got his security clearance. So, again, they're, they're, <laughs> they basically want Pierre Polyev to get the security clearance so he can do nothing. This is all just a ploy. Again, just liberals, just they, they want to make Pierre Polyev look out like he's not to look like a guy who's not really for Canada, for a guy who's just, oh, he's just a bipartisan. He doesn't want to do what's best for the country. He can't act on it. Now, if Justin Trudeau wants Pierre Polyev to act on it, declassify the documents, release the names, then we can act on it. So let's just have a look at this video here, and then we'll talk about this after, as usual, as well. At the leader of the CPC this morning not agreeing uh, to receive a security clearance. Is that correct? Yes. Am I correct, sir, that Mr. Polyeva has said that the reason he does not wish to receive the security clearance is because he does not want to be constrained in terms of the use he can make of the information that he would receive? I don't believe that was his argument. I believe his argument was that he wouldn't be able to talk about the information he received. How is that different than what I just said? Because as leader of a political party, you have many, many tools at your disposal to act on information you receive. You can uh, choose to not sign the nomination of a candidate who is under a cloud of suspicion. You can uh, choose to not elevate them to a critic's position. You can choose to not promise to make them a minister one day. You can, uh, you have many, you can choose which committees they sit on. Uh, a leader of a party has a many many tools that they can use uh, that are uh, not requiring him to speak publicly about his knowledge. Uh, the leader of a party has uh, quite a bit of power over uh, what uh, happens within that party. And that Okay, so let's just say Pierre Polyev decides, okay, it's this conservative MP and this conservative MP who has given away in, you know, election secrets to you know, foreign countries or whatever 
whatever they're found guilty of. If Pierre Polyev just says, okay, well, you're not going to get a high-end minister job, that's not good enough anyway. If there are traitors, and I'm sure there are traitors sitting in parliament to this day, not pro- promising them to, or not pro- promising them to give them a job is not near the punishment that would be correct for the actions. Right? Like, this doesn't even make any sense. And Justin Trudeau is going to sit there and say, well, he's got many, many tools to deal with it. He cannot actually do what needs to be done unless he knows the names and has the law on his side in terms of acting on it. If the, if the document is still classified, Justin Trudeau or Pierre Polyev cannot do anything about it. End of story. So, again, it just seems like a ploy, some desperate attack for Jagmeet Singh and Justin Trudeau to kind of team up together and try to make Pierre Polyev look bad. But anyone with half of a brain is going to see right through this. I mean, it's just so ridiculous that they even think that this whole, oh, he won't get security clearance, therefore he doesn't care about democracy in Canada. He's not putting his his country before his party. Neither are you, Jugmeet, and neither are you, Trudeau. And none of you ever would, and we all know it. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I always enjoy uh, reading and engaging with you guys. Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe as it really does help the channel grow. Thanks again for watching, and I'll be back shortly with a new video.